what's up guys welcome back to my channel if you have not been here before i'm kendall v i am 22 years old and i am now living at my mom's house okay you clicked on this video you're probably thinking about moving out or just interested in moving out young now, i have a moving out at 19 series on my channel i have tons of videos about moving out at 19 talking about it Like, I have so many of them. The reasons why most of us are wanting to move out, you know, we're tired of being told what to do by our parents. Everybody's annoying you at this point. You know, you want your independence. You don't want to have to deal with explaining yourself and getting in trouble about stuff that you feel like you should be able to do. You just want to be free, honey. At that point, you just want to be free. You don't want to have to worry about anybody bothering you you just want to be free from the house and get your own place okay have that independence that's what you want so i get tons and tons of comments on those videos about moving out at 19 and i see a lot of people commenting and telling me about how their at home environment is the reason they want to move out so young and that their home environments are not healthy and the arguing with their parents is toxic. The abuse from their parents is toxic. There's a lot of reasons that you may want to move out and that you may feel like it's best for you because it's just not healthy to be at home because whose happiness matters overall? Yours. If you're not happy, you have to do something about it. So yeah, I see a lot of you guys saying that your parents are the reason or your siblings and things are the reason that you want to move out. Maybe you guys can relate and understand and See where I'm coming from because I didn't I was not no angel I was not no angel I was probably the most <sighs> difficult teenage girl my parents could probably have you know I was definitely the problem child I was definitely the difficult child that gave them problems I challenged them but it was just because that's my that's my personality, that's who I am. Um, I don't do good with following rules from anybody. Like anytime there's new rules put in place, I'm like, uh-uh, that don't make sense. See, no, see what I'm not about to do is, that's just me. I'm always gonna say, I'm not doing that because no, I'm not doing that. I'm very strong-willed and I believe if I don't wanna do something, that I don't have to do something. And living in your mom's house, mm, that don't fly too well because they're the parents and they're the ones paying the bills so a lot of times we would have problems because i didn't listen and i wanted to do what i wanted to do okay we're going to be here if that pertains to you we here just keep watching and i'm like you know i'm gonna get deeper into it so yeah i had a hard time following rules i had a hard time listening um, as a teenage girl, I swear I got in trouble. Like sometimes it would be every other day, sometimes it would be every other week. And I'm not proud of it. I'm not happy about it because I did a lot of things that now that I look back, I'm like, ooh, that was bad, or like that was very disrespectful, or that wasn't, that's not something I pr I'm proud of, or things like that because I've done some very bad things. I was a fast little girl. Like most <laughs> most parents say, I was fast, I was into boys. I was just a rebel. Like anything my parents told me to do, I wanted to do opposite. And it wasn't intentional, like I just wanna do whatever they don't say, but it's just, I just wanted to do what I wanted to do. I wanted to have the boyfriends. I wanted to hang out with the boyfriends regardless of what they would say. The parties I wasn't supposed to be going to going to friends houses and saying i'm someplace else and getting caught like the list goes on for the things that i got in trouble for and i'm pretty sure those are probably similar problems that y'all are getting into problems with your parents if you a girl you know it's usually boys and not listening so <laughs> that was my biggest problem and that is kind of some of the fuel that made me want to move out because i was I was, I think I was 18, going on 19 when I decided I was gonna start this process. But I just know it was definitely from all the buildup of just tired of listening to my parents and tired of having to do what my parents say 
or tired of arguing with them and just being around them all the time because you just want that freedom the independence at the age you don't want to see everybody every day you don't want to talk to everybody every day and you definitely don't want to argue and explain yourself every day it's just like uh-uh i'm too old for this i gotta go i don't have to tell you this mama okay i'm tired of this so that's just what built up to me wanting to move out i was just tired of <laughs> I guess being a rebel and being yelled at and getting in trouble so that was kind of some of the fuel of wanting me to move out and then the other part was me wanting to be independent and have my freedom uh like I said I did not move out with animosity as in like I was living in a toxic environment or it was an unhealthy environment no but in all honestly it wasn't just for that it was more so for my experience and my independence okay Go back inside, Joshua. But yeah, like I said, it wasn't it wasn't like I was saying, oh, this household is too toxic. I had I had to get out of here. Now I probably was. There are probably some days after arguments I probably was thinking that I'm like, uh uh, this ain't healthy. Now I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> but in all actuality, like when I was building up to moving out, like finding the place and um, letting my parents know, okay, this is where I'm going to be moving and things like that. It wasn't in like an ill will manner. It wasn't in a negative way. It was just more so like, I'm doing this for me. Like, I want to experience this. I want to do this. I can do it. I can do it. That's what it was more so about. So when you guys are saying that, I want you guys to know that it's not easy being a teenage girl and having to deal with you know parents at the age if you don't listen like me it's not easy and honestly I would say just stick it out and try to uh, I can't tell you guys to go by the rules because I didn't go by the rules but try as hard as you can to go by the rules it'll eliminate as many problems as you can and I would say stack your money and save while you're going through this you know hard time at home or while you're going through these problems at home just try and keep keep your mouth shut try not to argue just let them say what they have to say keep your mouth shut and just keep stacking your money and when you have enough to move out let them know hey this is the deal i'm moving out and don't have like a negative air about it don't be like don't do that that's ugly because you're going to need your parents so yeah i had that type of attitude before moving out but once moving out I didn't have the attitude towards them because they're my parents like they're they're supposed to yell at me they're supposed to you know let me know wrong from right and things like that so once moving out you know you thinking oh yes I'm so glad I don't have to argue with them no more I don't have to fight my parents no more I don't have to hear nobody's mouth but once I was out I I kid you guys not there would be things that I know I would get in trouble for back then. There would be things that I, there would be things I used to get in trouble for back then. Like my mom used to yell at me about um, not cleaning the kitchen good enough or not wiping under the eyes good enough or just small stuff that she would yell at me about. And when I was in my apartment, <laughs> a lot of the stuff that she would yell at me about, I would see why it makes sense because I'm experiencing it. I'm experiencing it hands on, and there's nobody to tell me right from wrong. I'm just seeing that, okay, my mom was right, <laughs> and I was putting up a fight for nothing because she is right. Okay, so once I moved out, I saw stuff firsthand that my parents were not really trying to just get on my nerves and be mean. They weren't trying to be evil to me, or they didn't. Cause I had this thing that I thought my parents really did not like me sometimes like I just thought I was just like the unliked child but it was honestly because I was just so rebellious and <sighs> difficult so yeah I saw that they were in my best interest they were just trying to help me they were just trying to make me into the best person that I could be and the best responsible young lady that I could be and not be chasing after boys and not be doing fast stuff with boys and not be, you know, just disrespectful to people. And I, did, I didn't realize that I was in the house and I never came to see the beauty in 
that while in the house i saw that after i moved out that it's something that they were trying to help me they were trying to help me as a person they were trying to make me better than who i am and try to change bad things that i was doing and i just didn't want to hear it but you'll see it later on once you move out i kid you not you'll see that your parents were it had your back they was on your side so just try to think about that when you guys are just so you know fed up with being at home and i know we're on lockdown right now so you really have to you know put a halt on moving out and just deal with things but like i said stay low stack your money and just try not to have problems try your hardest to go by the rules if you can and just stack so that then you can do what you want you can have boys over there if you want girl you can have a party if you want seriously so just try and stay low and stack your money but um i'm really free today i have my hair out it's hot outside so i have on my little bando bra don't judge me it's summertime so yeah just stay low stack your money and that's that i even told my mom once i came back uh because i moved back in at i think 21 because i moved back in two years after moving out and i told my mom i'm like i i hate to say this and this is kind of messing with my pride but i do see that you know all the arguments and all the things that you guys yelled at me about for myself i saw that you guys are honestly just trying to look out for me because i saw this stuff hands on when i moved out i saw how hard it was to pay bills that you was trying to tell me i saw that for myself i saw that ain't nobody trying to help you in this world but your parents once i moved out because ain't nobody trying to help you but your parents okay and like i said don't bite the hand that feeds you you can have that attitude with them in the moment of the argument but once you move out and you think you got it all on your own like i said you're gonna need that help you're gonna need their assistance and honestly those are the only people that's gonna help you I mean, your family may, I, I don't know, but I know hands down, your parents are most likely people that are going to help you in sticky situations when you need a little help with rent, which you shouldn't unless you have like bank problems like I did, or when you need a little like a nice dinner and you're tired of cooking or you can't cook. Those are the people that's going to help you out. So don't have that ill will towards your parents. Don't have that negative feeling towards your parents. And I don't want you guys to get that misconstrued in my video that I had like this hate towards my parents because I didn't. I was just fed up and I was just done with being told what to do and I wanted to experience being free. So yeah, that's basically what I wanted to share with you guys today that just stay down for your come up. Don't make this um, like a depression for you being home. Don't make it bigger than what it is with your parents creating bad relationships because I don't want to encourage that at all. I just want to show you guys that if you want to move out and if you want to accomplish anything in life, no matter if it's moving out, no matter if it's buying a car, no matter if it's buying a house, you can do anything to put your mind to. You can do anything regardless of what your parents are telling you you can't do or regardless of what your friends are saying you can't do or regardless of what society is saying is too young to do or not okay to do. Do whatever you want to do and do whatever you need to do to experience something and to make yourself happy. Okay? Mm-hmm. Drop a comment and let me know what your household was like as a teenage girl, as a teenage guy. Did you get in trouble a lot? Did it make you want to move out? You know, what was your reasoning for moving out? So yeah, that basically wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got some honest, good advice from this. Like I said, I have so many other videos on moving out if you have not seen them. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. So keep subscribing. Keep liking. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. My little ambitious little wanna move outers.